Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built, and today we have to get John Lemon out of the booth because we have to paint the rest of the bits. Okay, so first thing today, we need to get John Lemon out of here. I so love this paint, it's so pretty. But first thing we gotta do is, uh, yeah, move the cars out so we can get parts in. Okay, this round of touch-ups is now done. I just have to go over and do a couple more layers and some final sanding and stuff. But they're done, so it's time to get these out of the way, get that beetle out of the booth, uh, these in, and start getting some paint on some things. All right, all the parts are laid out, uh, ready for the first round of primer. And, uh, but before I get into it, this filter is looking a little bit disgusting and uh, I think it definitely is time for a change. So change out the filter and then we can clean up and um, get into it. All right, everything is cleaned up in there. I've mixed up my new round of Euro Primer as before. It's a four to one mix, so uh, four parts primer, one part hardener. Bit of uh, thinners, probably about 10% of thinners just to thin it down a bit. And uh, I'm ready to roll in there. So let's get some paint on these parts. All right, those parts are in the booth. They're all painted up, so I'll just let them uh, cure for a bit, and I'm going to get stuck back into this, which means unmasking time. And let's, uh, yeah, let's see what we've got underneath and see how it uh, sort of looks without all this wrapping on it. The uh, car is unmasked, it's starting to come back together. I've just uh, sort of chucked the carpet in. The carpet needs a really good clean, but it's actually not torn or in bad shape. It just looks a bit ugly at the moment. Everything's gonna need a thorough clean once it's back together. But for now, uh, I'm gonna leave this and go back over to the booth and take some of the parts out and bring in the rest of the bits and see if we can get primer on everything. That coat took a lot longer than I expected it would. Um, mostly because I mixed up more than enough paint to do two coats uh, straight up this morning. And I thought it's only gonna be an hour or two between coats. I'll just mix it all up now. And, uh, and I left it in the gun. And of course, I left it in the gun and that's what Tupac does. And that's only, uh, you know, 
a couple of hours in the gun and it's and it's already set. So it took me ages to go through, clean it all out, clean out the gun, mix up some more paint, and get the coat on the uh, the second coat on this other stuff. The boot's still going in the background. That's what all that noise is. So. Um, I'm going to give it a little while to set up and then I've got to do the last, uh, the, the last coat and the other bits, but let's go back and keep working on the car for a little bit. Alright, so I know the booth is noisy in the background, but uh, we'll persevere anyway. Uh, coming back in here, now that I've unmastered all, there's a few little bits and pieces I need to touch up. So, um, for starters, this, this uh, column is just faded and doesn't look quite as nice as it could because it's old. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the airbrush out and I'm going to just get some uh, satin black, give this a little bit of a clean up and then just airbrush the satin black on it just to give it, bring it back up to life without having to go to town and mask it all up and go crazy. So um, let's get some paint out and uh, just do little touch ups to get this looking nice. That's it, last bit's in, it's the final round of primer, so let's get it done. Okay, last coat is done, and uh, the booth is still going in the background, which is what all that noise is, but... Uh, before I can move this car around anywhere, at least now, you know, the shell is done besides some touch-ups, I need a steering wheel on this. And some of you were asking me what I was going to do, because I had that hideous other steering wheel on the car when I got it. And this is what I'm doing. I have a nice shiny new box here. With a beautiful, brand new, genuine steering wheel. This is much prettier than the other. So um, it's time to stick this baby on so at least I can move it around. I'm so upset. <laughs> It's the wrong size spine. How is it wrong? This spine is uh, much larger than what this uh, old steering wheel was. I just bought it assuming it would go on, like not even thinking that they would change the, um, the, the spine on the steering column. But obviously at some stage they have, and this is not gonna fit. And it's not even like it's a replaceable part because this is actually the, part of the steering wheel. It's actually, uh, yeah, it's part of the casting. I don't know if I can change it. I don't think so. If anybody out there has alternatives and knows uh, how I can get this to fit, uh, I'm all ears. Do I have to change this whole steering column, which I really don't want to, or is there a way to change this or maybe I just need to get a different something? I don't know. I'm really annoyed because I really wanted this steering wheel to work and it's not going to work. Well, I just took the horn ring off just to sort of have a look and it, it does look like this centre section is pressed into this steering wheel, but I don't like the chances of being able to press it out without damaging the wheel. I mean, this is all, this thing's brand new, so it's nice and shiny and pretty and it would have just been a really nice addition in the centre here. And now I don't know what I'm going to do if there's a, um, like, I'll have to do some research and see if there's an alternate one. As I said, please let me know in the description if there's uh, some way I can change this over and get it to work. 
Besides that, I'm happy with the primer that's been done today. I've got all the parts done, so that means it's time for Fun Facts with Mrs. Jeff. Hey guys, the Australian car market recovered in 1962 and Volkswagen sales increased by over 40%. However, due to the popularity of the new Mini, Volkswagen overall dropped to fourth place in the Australian market. Volkswagen Australia begins a major export program where they export to New Zealand, New Guinea, Malaysia and Indonesia where they compete with German-built Volkswagens. The first Type 3s were also sent to Australia that year for evaluation, but a labour shortage in Germany meant that they could not go into production straight away. This is also the last year of the Armstrong 500 at Phillip Island before moving permanently to Bathurst, where Volkswagen won in Class D and came in seventh overall. All right, that was uh, some good progress today. Um, primer and all the extra bits. There's so many other bits. The shell is actually the easy bit. There's so many other bits, but um, we've got primer and everything. So that means that next week we could start putting color on stuff. Oh, I'm so looking forward to that. Okay. In any case, please like and subscribe if you're enjoying the channel. And of course, we've got our merchandise. Um, Follow the links below. Head down. To help us out. Last week, check out the new Beetle shirts. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Still waiting on mine. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. <sighs> uh, yes. Can we do that one again? Oh, it was. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. After a rocky start, this is Jeff Kimmon. First place.